Hey guys, Max here with CH2 Off Road. I got a new exciting product that we're launching for the all wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter van. It's an engine skip plate. Really easy install, looks really good with our bumper, and we're gonna show you how we install it. So we'll have two options. One with black painted. Obviously this is the one with our logo on the, back, on the bottom of it. This is the one that was hanging with the crane. And you guys want the sticker, let me know too. I can supply you guys a sticker. So, all right, and you get the raw aluminum. This one's, uh, they're all 316 thick, all aluminum. Pretty sturdy and pretty light, guys. So let's show you how we install it. So you'll have a hardware kit that we supply with a couple of bolts and a couple of little things in here. Also, I'm gonna show you what kind of tools you need. You need a 13 mil, you can use a ratchet, you can use a socket. And then we're also gonna need a uh, 316 Allen head. Something with, you know, you can do the Allen or with actual socket. That's all you need, guys. Okay, guys, when you have your 13 mil, you'll remove the factory factory bolts there's two on this side there's two on this side we'll remove this side and there's a cross little cross beam that you will remove so once you have those four 13 millimeter bolts removed you can start to install our hardware in your kit you will have these four clips that i'll show you where you slide them in once you slide them in you have your stainless steel hardware the anodized will screw in with the skip plate just like that so with these clips here they have those threads on them. You will slide onto their existing holes in the Mercedes van, like that. Right. Next step, you will take the bolts that we supply. You wanna just hand tighten them just a little bit. That way you can slide the skid plate onto its position. Easier for one person to do this job, if that makes sense. You will slide into it and then you tighten everything else on. Once you hand tighten the last, there's two bolts, you just want a little bit of gap that way you can slide the skip plate onto it easier. You don't have to hold the whole skip plate. We'll show you here that you slide it in and you just lift the, the front of it. As you can see, this is open all the way through. When you, you can slide them into the bolts that are hanging just a bit. That way it gives you, you don't have to hold them, you know, by your hands and all that. So this is what we're gonna do right here. Bam. Now it's, it's holding on the two bolts. Okay, then you use your factory four bolts, the 13 mils that you removed earlier. Put them back in the same position that you removed them. Once you have the, the 413 snug, you got your other two bolts that we're gonna attach to the other two holes that need to be underneath this kit. Okay guys, that finishes out our skip plate install. Super simple. There's only eight bolts involved. You get the hardware. Any questions, guys, give us a call. And don't forget, this is for the all-wheel drive only models. The 4x4, the ones you have, the earlier models will not work. So give us a call. Order today. Click like, subscribe. Give us some thumbs up. Comment. You guys name it. Thank you.